So the water, the condensation water, drips very easily from the pipe, even in the coldest weather that I've experienced here. But what happens is whenever it touches the ground, uh, it begins to freeze and make a little ice mountain. Kind of like right here where this is dripping from the, uh, the condensation of that uh, exhaust pipe there. And there's not much fall distance right here, just a few inches, it's less than a foot, um, less than a third of a meter, uh, compared to this pipe here, where it is uh, two meters of fall distance, that's, that's very easy, two maybe, yeah, a little more than, about two meters of fall distance, plenty fine, maybe even just one meter would be acceptable, uh, about three foot. But here, where it's less than a third of a meter of fall distance, it uh, builds a little ice mountain, a uh, little I, uh, I, um, mountain of ice, and whenever it gets tall enough, it touches the pipe, and then it um, freezes uh, the pipe, uh, freezes inside the pipe, and then it backs up, and then it makes a puddle of water inside the house. So in order to prevent that, what I have to do is I have to take this, I usually use salt most of the time, but whenever it gets uh, well, well below freezing, um, usually below zero Fahrenheit, um, then I have to add some of these little white round beads, little pellets, that's um, calcium chloride that works down, I think, to negative 25 Fahrenheit. Uh, it's never been a problem with that. Um, usually down to 5 degrees um, above zero Fahrenheit, that's when the salt is effective, but you know, if it's just a little bit below freezing, like 25 degrees Fahrenheit, then the salt works just fine, but the calcium chloride uh, works down to negative 25 Fahrenheit, and I've never experienced a, a temperature too cold here in southern Indiana uh, for calcium chloride, so um, that's my dilemma with the uh, condensation pipe on my HVAC.